For those with asthma, getting outdoors can mean dangerous conditions and triggers that many are unaware of, like thunderstorms. Barb Consiglio has that story. Have you been feeling okay? Been feeling really good. What Bernice Robal thought were recurring sinus infections turned out to be severe asthma. I was so weak, I couldn't, couldn't get out of bed. It was, it was that bad. Take some nice big deep breaths. And Diagnosed as an adult, Bernice began working with Dr. Lori Manka at National Jewish Health to track her symptoms and discover her asthma triggers. Unexpected yet dangerous summer irritants are something Dr. Menka discusses with her patients. For example, while rain can wash away some asthma irritants, thunderstorm asthma can occur as summer storms roll in and concentrate allergens and mold in the air. Humidity and electricity rupture the pollens and the molds, making it, uh, making them smaller in size and more easily inhaled into the lungs and the sinuses. Mold, grass, pollen, and smoke from cookouts, fireworks, and wildfires all increase during the summer months. And climate change is expected to worsen these irritants over time. We can expect worse pollen seasons due to the increased temperature and worse air pollution with higher levels of ozone um, and more drought cycles leading to uh, forest fires. Experts say knowing how your asthma reacts through the seasons and having a plan to adjust to these triggers can help prevent severe asthma episodes. For Bernice, it's taking extra care during wildfire season. I can go on hikes. I can do almost anything. At National Jewish Health, this is Barb Consiglio reporting.